Hi, you're watching TechCrunch TV. My name is Colleen Taylor. Here with me in the studio is the co-founder and president of Optimizely, Pete Kuman. He, along with his Op Optimizely co-founder, Dan Soroker, just wrote a new book all about A-B testing. So thank you for joining us here. Thank you so much, Colleen. To talk about, the, the name of the book here is A-B testing, the most powerful way to turn clicks into customers. Yep. And now Optimizely is an A-B testing tool. Your entire company does, enables A-B testing, so why the need for a book when they could just go to optimizely.com? It's a really good question. It would have been a lot less effort, too. <laughs> um, so the, the, the honest answer to that is that uh, building great software that makes A-B testing really easy is only really half of the problem here. So when we, when we you know, get started with a new customer who maybe hasn't had as much experience A-B testing before, one of the first things they ask us is, okay, this is great, but you know, how do we actually approach this problem? What do we test? Organizationally, how do we structure this within our company? And those are all questions that you can't answer with software alone. And so we wanted to take a lot of the things that we've learned over the past four years and condense them into a resource that we could hand to new customers or anyone else who's interested in learning about A-B testing so that they could f you know, start thinking about these questions too. And what I like about this book, since just you know, flipping through it a bit, is that it's not just a theoretical uh, you know, textbook. You have a lot of real life examples in here. Can you talk about one of them? I saw, because I mean, companies use this, but also nonprofits. That's right, yeah. So we actually, we, the way we structured the book was we started with a bunch of high level lessons that we've learned over the years about A-B testing, what typically works, uh, some best practices. And for each of those examples, we tr sorry, for each of those lessons, we try to include examples of how this played out in the real life. C you know, tests that were very successful, even tests that weren't successful, that help illustrate these lessons. And probably my favorite example in the book is actually one that uh, my co-founder and I uh, were part of, uh, probably, uh, that must have been, yeah, three and a half or four years ago now. So the beginning of 2010, uh, just weeks after we had decided to start Optimizely, we were contacted by the Clinton Bush Haiti Foundation, and they were raising money for earthquake victims. It, you know, the, that I think had happened that week. It was a devastating earthquake. And they had very quickly put up a web page where they could take donations. And the problem was that they had one very overworked IT person who was uh, you know, spending most of their time focusing on just keeping the website up, right? They, their traffic had gone through the roof. It was a huge operational job. And they wanted help improving the performance of that website. And so we, we buckled down. We spent three days with almost no sleep. And we ran test after test after test while building the Optimizely platform and tried many different variations of that page. So an A-B test is really just taking a web page trying several different versions of it and showing one of those versions to each incoming visitor. And then you measure which one's more effective. And so what we did was we took the donation form and we added a photo of earthquake victims right next to the donation form. And it turns out that more people were willing to go through the process of filling out that form when there was a reminder of why they were doing it. We tried removing fields. We tried changing the text size. We tried changing the, the text on buttons. And after those three days, we had a version that ended up performing 10% better in terms of dollars per eyeball on that page. And that meant, over the course of the campaign, an extra million dollars for earthquake victims. So that's, that's my favorite example in the book. Great. And um, one thing that I've heard from founders or different people in the tech industry is that uh, you know, Steve Jobs never A-B tested, right? He just went with his gut, and he had some vision for a design, you know, this idea that people don't know what they want until, until you give it to them or someone with a great vision gives it to them. Um, is, is there an argument to be made that, that A-B testing isn't, isn't necessary? Well, I think there's an argument to be made that A-B testing isn't the only thing you need, right? You can't A-B test your way from a blank page to a successful business. It's just absurd to even think about. But when you, when you think about what A-B testing is, it really is, it's just a mechanism to get to understand your customers better, your visitors better, right? Uh, none of us is, is perfect, not even Steve Jobs. And one of the ways that you can account for that is by going out and talking to customers. And when you have millions and millions of visitors, even thousands of visitors, it's just not scalable to do that with everyone. And sometimes the easiest way to understand how they're going to react to something you want to do on your web page or you know, a product that you're, you're developing is just to try it out and, and test it. 
And so it really is it's just a feedback mechanism that companies can use to better understand their customers, and it's a very effective one. So it's not the only thing required. You need a lot of ingenuity, you need creativity, and all the other amazing things that go into building something, but it's a very valuable tool in that tool chest. Great. And real quick, can we just hear a bit about where Optimizely is right now? Sure, yeah. So we, we're, we're about three, yeah, almost four years old now as a company. And uh, we just we've had a great run. So we are, uh, we just celebrated our hundredth employee. Uh, we raised around earlier this year, uh, led by Benchmark, uh, with twenty eight million dollars, which was really wonderful for the company. And uh, yeah, we're growing very very quickly. Great. And now you're also a published author. Where can people buy this book? Uh, people can buy this book at your local Amazon. Okay, <laughs> Amazon.com. Yes. AB testing by uh, Pete Kuman and Dan Soroker. Thank you for coming by and showing us the book. And uh, good luck. Keep us posted. Thank you so much, Colleen.